You keep hearing about 12 year olds making millions of dollars off of NFTs they made when they had some free time. Do you think like they were bragging about that shit in class so some random middle schooler out there just put an NFT on their wish list for Christmas? Mom, dad, trust me, I can retire off this shit. I'd love to say that as a joke entirely, but I got a feeling at least one person has done that. It makes my stomach do funny little flips when I think about it. Hi again guys and welcome back to your local nuclear waste treatment plant. This is where I come from. I hope you guys had a good Christmas. That's a lie. I only wish my viewers pain and suffering. But regardless, it's time we get back to regular business, NFTs. We've talked about them once, they're everywhere, and it's very easy to make fun of people who have them. And one of the places I've seen people talking about this stuff and getting shit on for it the most is TikTok. Some poor guy could be an enthusiast about them and covering the latest news to happen because he's just genuinely interested, and he gets ratioed by any guy who duets him making an unamused face at the camera. It's really similar to when your dad finds out you're fucking your stepmom. We're gonna take a look at that kind of thing and more in a minute here, but first, did you know that only half of you watching are subscribed? I I've heard that's bad for your health, so you might want to subscribe with notifications on, or you may end up in the hospital. You know, due to unrelated health concerns, obviously. This NFT is changing the game. Meta Girlfriends allows you to have a Metaverse girlfriend with their own unique personality. They already sold out of their pre-sale 1,000 NFTs, so the hype is real. They're introducing a brand new feature where you can combine multiple NFTs into a more rare one in something called the Rainbow Room. They're minting tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern, so check it out. Dude, what? I do enjoy how self-aware the caption is. You can actually get a girlfriend. Because because this guy knows no one in his target audience has that shit. Just like you guys. I do love how he says, these are changing the game. Because at least at this point, what NFT game is there to change? Like people have just started figuring out the damn rules of the sport and we're already changing them? It's like Foursquare where you can add as many made up laws as you want when you're in charge. And nobody can call you on that shit until they make up their own game with their own made up rules. This project could sell out instantly. It's a deflationary project called Meta Girlfriends. The artwork is high quality and each NFT is randomly generated from over 600 traits. They're launching the Rainbow Room and Public Mint today at 3 p.m. Eastern. Minting only costs 0 0.08 Ethereum, but there's a limit of five per transaction. We're keeping our eye on Meta Girlfriends because- What a funny set of sentences to put in a row. The artwork is high quality, but it's also randomly generated. I'd only use that combo of words when talking about Minecraft world generation. That shit is high quality as hell. One thing I noticed is that this guy's posts were directly sponsored by the Meta Girlfriends NFT, so I guess he's at least getting a bag for making these. And it's sick how this isn't the only only NFT project about having a virtual girlfriend. There's another one I saw a while ago called Desperate Ape Wives, which are the literal wives of bored apes. I cannot believe this exists. Well, actually I can because it's very clearly there and on screen right now. That's an irrefutable proof. The minimum bid for a lot of these is like 0.8 Ethereum. And if you go outside and don't keep up with crypto conversion rates on an hourly basis, that's like a bit over 3000 US dollars. And personally, I think that's them undercharging. And this could be a visual glitch, but the minimum bid I've seen people actually put in is like 0.13 decimal places to the right, one Ethereum, which is equivalent to whatever fraction of a cent this fucking collection of symbols is in American currency. This bored ape accidentally sold for 3,000 instead of 300,000. This NFT was sold for one one hundredth of its market price. BAYC includes 10,000 pieces of digital art, but the owner of this bored ape made a fat finger mistake when putting it for sale online. Okay, I, I kind of like that term, a fat finger mistake. Just the implication of the insult that comes with it. Maybe if you didn't have cheeseburgers for palms and hot dogs for fingers, you'd be a couple hundred thousand dollars richer. But look at you, sausage hands, all out of that retirement money. Online. The NFT was instantly snapped up by an automated account and put back up for $250,000. The seller said he meant to put the NFT up for 75 ETH. And during one of the many trades that he makes daily, he accidentally listed it for 0.75 ETH, which at the time was just under $3,000. He says he instantly saw the error as soon as he listed it, but it was quickly snapped up and he didn't have a chance to cancel it. And just like that, $250,000 was gone. A traditional banking transaction, something like this would probably have been fixed. In the unregulated crypto trading market, there's usually no way to reverse such a sale. Follow for more on all things NFT. I know the guy who snapped that shit up must have been creaming himself. At least that's what I'd be doing. I'd be in my local crypto trading Discord server and pinging everyone in the general chat fucking screaming and spamming that purchase receipt. Now all he has to do is actually trying to turn that profit over. Keanu Reeves talks about NFTs. Did for Resurrections just a couple days ago. They know they made uh, NFTs for the new movie and there were like 100,000 of them and the site broke like in the first few hours because there were over 300,000 people in the queue trying to buy these NFTs for $50. Um, and so like when you think about the concept of digital scarcity and things that are and, you know, they can't be copied. 
that are easily reproduced. <laughs> well, but they're not the same. I love how the clip is basically Keanu saying the equivalent of right click and saved, this PNG is mine now. And this NFT enthusiast is still excitedly pointing at it with his dismembered green screen finger just because he talked about NFTs at all. In a way I kind of have to respect it, it's that all publicity is good publicity angle. He's probably thinking, we're already getting shit on from every conceivable angle over liking NFT. At least this time, it's a well liked famous person shitting on us. All things I am not. He spent how much on a tattoo? This is Gunna, and he's one of the richest rappers in the world. And he just recently bought this NFT from Blue Chip Project Port Ape Yacht Club. And he actually tattooed it on his leg, but you won't believe how much he paid for it. In total, it looks like Gunna paid $305,000 for the NFT. Okay, what the fuck? Why would you want one of these on you? Actually, let me walk that back a little, because I'm not the kind of person who thinks that tattoos need to have meaning or even need to be good. If I were to get a tattoo, it would most likely be some supremely stupid shit that I I didn't think through and still wouldn't regret. And hey, there's at least one moron out there walking around with the word quite tattooed on the inside of their mouth, so at least a few of you are on the market for that kind of stuff. But my thing is, if Gunna just liked the design of the bored ape so much that he wanted it tattooed, why didn't he just get it tattooed? It's not like he has to own the NFT to show the tattoo artist the fucking picture. It would become unique by the fact that he only has that physical version of the image on his real life skin. You actually can't screenshot that. I mean, unless he just really likes the idea of owning that NFT that he got got the tattoo after. It's like a commemorative thing for him. He's celebrating buying his first picture. The first text message just sold as an NFT and you won't believe how much he paid for it. The first text message ever was sent on what looks to be a landline. The text reads Merry Christmas and it was just auctioned off for an absurd amount of money. In total, this NFT sold for right around $121,000. If this NFT stuff takes off the way some people really seem to think it will, these videos are gonna age me so fucking badly. My kids will be hanging digital monkeys inside their digital metaverse houses and calling me out of touch when they go through my YouTube back catalog. Here's what celebrities would look like as NFTs, part two. Next up, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I think this one is pretty cool. Let me know if you'd cop it in the comments. Be sure to hit that plus button for part three. That's just a drawing of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Not even like a crazy good one. You'd see this shit on your Instagram explore page. That is what The Rock would look like as a drawing. What about being a drawing makes it specifically the NFT look? I, I need some answers and a drink. Here's what celebrities would look like as NFTs, part three. Let's see what Elon Musk would look like. Okay, this one has so much character, so make sure to watch this twice so you can check it out, and let me know if you would cop this in the comments. And don't forget to follow for part four. Bro said to watch the video twice so you could take in all the details. Don't worry, guys, we don't have to do any of that because I screenshotted it. This thing takes just about every Elon-related internet happening in the last three to four years and puts it into the style of one of those caricatures tourists get drawn of them in Times Square. They wormed every Elon-related logo they could think of in there. Where the hell did the concept of Bitcoin headphones come from? Well, just so they could shove it in there somewhere, I guess. This is the most expensive NFT ever sold. If you've been paying attention right now, you know that NFTs are taking over the internet. And I promise, once you find out how much this one sold for, you'll want to learn way more about it. This is a CryptoPunk 999A, and it sold for $532 million. Can you imagine being so rich, you can just casually drop an amount of money larger than some nation's entire GDPs on a fucking 16 by 16 pixel wide image? Like, I guess the little punk's hair is kind of cool. I fuck with the Joker ride diamonds he's got going on. But not nine figures of cash level of fucking with. This game is taking its spot as the Minecraft of the metaverse. The game is called The Sandbox and it is basically a Minecraft lookalike but it's inside of the metaverse. They have been massive players in the crypto gaming space with even having their own crypto coin. Not to mention numerous sets of NFTs. Make sure to follow for official NFT news. So it's just Minecraft, but shittier. <laughs> if the metaverse is the digital universe or something, why couldn't Minecraft just be the Minecraft of the metaverse? For some reason, I just do not see Dream making a video of him getting hunted down in the NFT block game instead of Minecraft. Somebody just paid $1.3 million for a picture of a rock. This is an Ether Rock NFT. And this is the man who spent $1.3 million on it. Apparently there's only a hundred of these NFTs, so I guess there's some scarcity. But still, you'd have a hard time convincing me that this is worth $1.3 million. Dude, the guy running the official NFT TikTok account, commissioned by billionaire Mark Cuban himself, not even he can wrap his head around someone paying upwards of a million dollars for a picture of a rock. You'd at least hope for the rock to be a high quality texture, like something that you'd see in Unreal Engine to get photorealism and could cream yourself over during a press conference graphics reveal, but instead it looks like something you'd see playing a shitty cool math games flash game where you're slacking off during a computer lab day.
Just had the stupidest idea of my life that may become reality anyways. Can you imagine NFT food? Like you make an egg sandwich in the morning, a real physical egg sandwich, 3D scan it on your phone, and then mint it as an NFT before you eat it. That way the people who follow you know that you, and only you own and ate that specific egg sandwich that you just made. I'm a goddamn genius. How to get free NFTs. Step one, screenshot, free money. It's actually funny how you think that's how that works. Because first of all, you actually need a buyer for that. And well, when people go on OpenSea, they can see that that's just a screenshot because it's not in the verified collection. Like with the NFT I have. You can tell it has value because it's in the verified collection listed right there. If it's not in there, it'll say something like this. Good try, no one's buying it. So yeah, that's why NFTs have value. God, I love this guy so much because I do not know if he's yanking our chain or not. If you recognize that monkey, it might be because you've seen it in TikTok comment sections as one of those profile pictures that just dozens of accounts have. And I'm pretty sure it's because this guy supposedly got angry over people screenshotting it like you saw in that last clip. The thing is, I'm not sure it's that simple because this dude has been making videos responding to people talking about this one NFT he owns for literal fucking weeks in the same way over and over again. The clip I just played was from a few days ago. This next one's from like two weeks ago. How do people waste money like this, bro? According to my calculations, I didn't waste any money. So for this NFT I own right here, I bought it at 0.46 Ethereum about a month ago, which at the time was around $2,400. Now it's worth 1.19 Ethereum. AKA about $4,600. But I'm wasting money. It's pretty much the exact same thing. It's like he's got a script he reads out to stir the pot every few days. This dude might be a little fun to try and rile up, but I am almost certain he knows what he's doing. He sees a chance to drive up the price of the original image of the NFT everybody is screenshotting as a joke. So when he gets around to actually selling that bitch, he might be able to retire off it. It's like I said, NFTs are fun to joke around about because most of them are butt fucking ugly. But the only people they need to have real value to are the people actually buying that shit. There just needs to be that one guy who views this profile picture trend as an essential part of NFT history and is willing to fork over fat stacks to get that shit for himself. Anyways, that's enough NFT shenanigans for now. These are fun to talk about for me because it is genuinely interesting to see how far people will take this shit. And if they really are an unavoidable part of the future, whether we want them to be or not, if you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe with notifications on, or I will literally die of heat exhaustion. Don't go after anyone I talked about today because it's all meant in good fun and is a literal waste of your time. Anyways, this has been quite and consider getting late.